Well, greetings, Four Color fans, and welcome back here to Metaron's channel. Uh, I'm coming to you to here on Tuesday night with uh, a bit of a heavy heart uh, due to the pending landfall of Hurricane Ian somewhere between Fort Myers and Tampa. And uh, as many of you know, we have so many community members there. I lived in uh, north of Tampa, Pasco County, for almost 11 years and uh, just a great area with great people. And um, I still have a lot of friends in that area. So I'm a little maudlin right now, but I am hopeful. And if you are a person of prayer, I ask that uh, that you, you know, beseech the higher power here to somehow dissipate it or, you know, lessen the effects uh, of uh, such a um, natural disaster such as this as a Lifelong Floridian, I've lived most of my adult life in Florida. I've gone through probably a dozen storms, maybe six were direct hits on me. So uh, I've been without power for a month <laughs> during Andrew. So I know the effects that this can have, uh, and it and it's 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 tough to handle on on many levels. But uh, again, I I will be praying for all of you down there in the in that area, and really in the whole state as it up some comes up through Florida. Uh, who knows what um, dangers could lie in front there. So I hope that this, uh, I, I hope that I myself don't lose power uh, due to the storm. I am a little bit further east and north, but uh, I did want to tape this on Tuesday and upload it, and then Thursday I will publish it. All right, enough of that. Um, again, I will do, I, I think I'm supposed to do a um, retrospective with Bill Miller on Sunday for Werewolf by Night, so I'll give you an update on uh, the situation at that point. But for now, I'm going to show you the complete set of Marvel Fanfare. Uh, I've I've done um, the a lot of the preview uh, and spotlight and premiere series that Marvel did, and this is sort of in that vein. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the first four issues were uh, Chris Claremont and Michael Golden. Um, Look at look at this here. Look at Spider-Man here. Uh, he's mutated there to a more spider-centric <laughs> form. A really good four-issue arc here. And if you'll notice, the Marvel fanfare, I believe it started in 1982 and ran through, I think, even like early 90s, perhaps. But it was it is a um, a series with. Uh, slick paper and no ads. So as you can see, it's uh, at this point it's a dollar twenty-five, which is more than double what a regular comic was at that point. But again, you're you're getting a much higher quality paper and print, really really luscious colors on the interiors here. I'll probably show you one uh, here. It's toward the end, and this this was a you know it's sort of a three pronged kind of series that had anthologies it did have it did have um i would say spotlight on certain on characters right um uh, but it also had a lot of inventory stories like this one here a uh, great cover here by george perez this was an inventory story i do believe and it also spotlighted like um uh, new talent uh, like art adams uh was um this was one of his first works was in here as well and a few others and then there were some series that were actually uh, made for Marvel fanfare but um let me just have a confession make a confession here I did not buy these off the rack because again now they're 150 so now they're more a good amount more than double that's not Black Hawk by the way the sort of Marvel's version um back in the 90s I ran I I was at one of those uh, conventions that uh, was in a mall, I remember, and uh, he, this gentleman had a whole set for $10, but because it was like the la right at the end of the show, he had everything uh, half price, so I got this whole set for $5. Now, some of them I've upgraded and so forth, but uh, you know, I thought that was a pretty good buy at the time. Nice Starlin cover there on 20 Now, you notice that gentleman up in the... Uh, 
uh, in the price box. That's Al Milgram. He was, I believe, the editor for this series. Um, and I believe he was special projects uh, coordinator or something. And he has like little, he has like a little part in there, a little cartoon part, little uh, animated, little, you know, co comic feature in there where he explains sometimes, you know, what's going on with Marvel Fine for here or whatever. Here's, I think, a two-part story by Ken Stacy. I believe this is a wrapper on cover. Let me, let me show you that. I think this is. Yes, it is. So let me show you that. There it is. Dr. Octopus versus Iron Man. Well, I guess it's possible. I think Iron Man has it over him, but <laughs> yeah, he does have uh, mechanical arms. Uh, this is um, Weird World, I do believe, which was, I, I believe I first saw that on um, in Marvel Premiere back in the 70s. And uh, this is done, that covers over Pat Broderick. So again, you know, it's a series which, you know, it's it, it just depends. It's hit or miss, right? Uh it depends on the on the issue. Uh here's another wraparound cover, which I'm gonna show you. And I might as well show you a little bit of the interior while I'm at it. I don't want this to go too long. Six minutes. Okay. Uh I believe this shows the whole, all of Alpha Flight, yeah, at the time, yeah. There's Snowbird, Puck, Box, of course, North Star, Guardian. And Aurora. And I'll show you a little bit here in the interiors. You can see how they're much, much slick white paper here and very, very vivid colors inside. Okay. So I just thought I'd show you that for, for a while. For a while. <laughs> for one page, essentially. Uh, let me get the rest here. Oh. So this is interesting here. This Marvel fan for 29 is all, um, essentially all splash pages. All you know, just the art is all just one one page. <laughs> so uh, you know, again, Bird like to do these the kind of original things here. So uh, I put we'll put that by him. Uh, here's another. I, be, I believe this is another uh, wraparound cover. Lovely, lovely. Is this by Brent Anderson? Yes, it is. You know, I wasn't I wasn't going to show you this many, but man, these covers are just so good that I don't want to. I don't want I don't want anybody to miss them. Look at that. Right? Really nice. It might be like a painted cover. It's it's quite lush. Uh, again, you know, here, I believe this is one of those perhaps inventory stories. Sometimes it would spotlight characters. Uh, here's one I was going to use on cover slingers for mustache, but uh, didn't quite make the cut. I did end up winning that that uh, particular cover slingers by the way it's not gonna uh, by the way we're not gonna have cover slingers this saturday i think gray man is busy doing something but uh here's a obviously an x-men story here's a interesting the uh, warriors three but very fantasy like covers right um who did this charles vest yeah charles vest did those nice little painted covers again you know i, I don't know i don't think any of these are that expensive so, um, you know, if you run across a bunch of these and, uh, you know, you really like this format, it might behoove you to pick it up. Now, here's a strange, here's a Joe Staten cover. Yeah. You didn't see too many, too much uh, Staten work in Marvel. At least not that I recall. I hope I have these in order. <laughs> Oh, here's here's a funny one. I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, Doctor Strange in a Western environment. I hope I didn't pass it already. Here's a nice um, American flag cover. Uh, here's Submariner, sort of in the pirate, <laughs> Pi it, 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 you know, sort of cosplaying as a pirate here. Was that Mike Magnola? Yeah. Oop, sorry. Uh, here's another Stacy. Uh, Iron Man cover, and I believe this is against Doctor Doom. So I'll show you again the wraparound. Look at that. Hmm, pretty good, huh? Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. That's my opinion, at least. Here's another wraparound cover by Byrne, but I'm not going to show you that one because this is already getting to almost ten minutes, and I really don't want to make this too long. Here's some Fantastic Four, and like I said, some of these were drawn for this or for special projects 
Uh, here's uh, She-Hulk. And again, there are usually at least a couple stories in here. There's the Western Doctor Strange. Very, very different, right? Um, <laughs> but I'm going to show you this wraparound cover because that's pretty cool. It's a whole Western environment, right? Look at that. <laughs> that is, I bet you that's something you never thought you'd see right there. Really, really something. So, you know, they, they because it was the type of um, special projects series they took liberties you know that some of the stories are a little some of the some of them are a little bit out of character some of them are mixed genre that's another i believe there's a busema silver surfer um one of those you know, remainder you know one the, the, the sort of that that he he did just in case uh there was a dreaded deadline doom or whatever here's a nice um three-parter with a black knight mm-hmm Pretty good. Power pack there, looks like, and magic. Obviously, Warlock is there. Oh, yeah, these are uh, the uh, Joe Shioto covers, right, for uh, of Shauna, the She-Devil. Those are really nice painted covers right there. Look at that. That sort of harkens back to that Golden Age, you know, uh, jungle comics, right? And there's another really nice one. And then finally, there's 59. I think those are that's the rest of the Shana stories. And then you have this nice Black Panther cover. And that is, of course, the final issue. In fact, it says it right up there. So that's it. Those are all the uh, Marvel Fanfares Volume 1. There is a Volume 2 that came out about five years later. But I don't have all of those. If I do get them, I will make a video about them. All right, everybody. I'm out of here. Everybody knows what I'm going to say. Be kind to each other. Be blessed. And be back.